And welcome to the second part of the Mugen tutorial. I'm, I'm Euros Jovanovic and I'll be teaching you how to do more stuff in Mugen tutorial as a second part. Now, as you can see from the first part, we've imported some some normal just sprites. But as you can see, they're not in the correct place. So you have to position them. So you click Show, Guidelines. Now you zo zoom in so you can see the character pretty well. And as you can see, it's already boxed in one sprite. But as you can see when you go next, it's not. So you just have to position them. As you can see, this this acts like a floor. And this acts when, where your character will start the move or execute the animation. As you can see, if, if this will be in Mugen, then he'll go in the floor. You don't want that to happen. So then you just do this. You position him carefully. See so he stands in one one uh, straight straight line and then he does the sparks as you can see they're all the, in the same in the same standing animation this will be our standing animation when he stands what he will do when he stands you just take off the guidelines you zoom out a little bit now that's to how to position now to add them in animation as you, wh wh when you go left you can see all different animations but don't worry, they're linked to them too, so that's that's for the template. So you don't need to think about that. As you, you when you go when you go left, you can see bear. But we just start off with the standing animation. You can see the first uh, f four sprites that I imported here. So now you just you can either add them separately, add air for that. That that's just for like that's just for like guard, standing, and that all. But I'll I'll right click and add group to it. So now the whole group's in. You this is to take the a side off. We just take off the first one because that's a blank. And now if you click play, you can see the sparks going around it. Now th this this is the rest. This group is for this. So you see the group five. So they're matching Z picture zero, picture one. So you, you can just organize the frames correctly. These two you don't need because you already positioned them earlier on. This for the time. Now this, the higher the number, the slower the animation will go. So if you click this, add in all frames, you you can see that the, that it goes in all frames, and you can see that it's going slower than before. So now, this this is flip. This if you click H. Now, now he's on this side. You can see him turning. That's useful for like turning moves or whatever you want to make him turn, or to do that sort of stuff. Now, now this trance you don't need right now. Now this, thi these two are called the collision boxes. That's to animate your character. So, this blue one is where he could get hit. So you do that one in basically all the frames because you don't want him to be unhittable. Because that's not really a good character if it's unhittable all the time. So you just mark his body out and his head, like so. And you click this. This is to add them in all the frames. So you just tick it and now it's all in the frames. But if you just make a blue one, it's the same thing, just it's in only one frame. That The blue one's only good if he's moving left and right. But this one's good if he's standing still. That That's what we need for the standing animation. And the red one is for attack, so I'll show you that a little bit later on. Now, he, now he's standing like this. Now, if you want to make an attack, you go back to your palette, as you can see there. Now you import uh, some new sprites, which I already did before. But you just import the new sprites. You click this and you click this, and you just add the images to the main folder, just like we did earlier. And now, if you want to import them, you go here. I've imported like like some uh, other magic that Supersonic can do. I just call it Group Ten, center bottom like always. Just leave this and just press OK. Now, as you can see, he's there. Now I did this on purpose. I chose these sprites because they got this r line there. Don't worry if this happens; it will ruin the, your sprites if you don't get rid of it. So we, you have to get rid of it. You click this rubber here, and now you just rub out the 
the red line that you don't need. You can do this with sprite editing. You can like edit. If you don't want this hand to be there, you just rub out the hand. But we don't want to do that yet. So you just rub out the the red line. So now it wouldn't show a mugen. Now obviously position it like I did before. Position the sprite carefully. And he's gonna be there and there. Now bang. You see you, you can see that he goes a little bit back, which I want him to. Or you can make him the same position. But anyway, it's it's fine like this. Now you just click you just click show guidelines. You click animation. Now you you scroll down until he he has a basic attack. You see standing stand stand the light punch. You go down to number group ten, you click add group to air, you obviously delete the first one, and you can make it go fast or slow, I'll just make it normal time. And as you can see he actually hits. Now in order to make that hit, you have to do one of these red boxes. And this is for damage. This is for attack. Now you just make the attack like this. So circling where he actually c could get attacked, the computer. You always make the 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 blue or green line to make him not hittable, like I said before. I just add him in all frames. Bang. You can see him hitting. And now for the sound files. Re now for the sound files, you have to open up a new sound file. Like so. You open up anyone's sound file, like I did before, and then you click open, then you open up like this. Now you click save as, and you save it as wherever you called it in the definition file, under your own folder. Okay? And then you just click save, and now it should come up like this. You click play, and then it'll play. And you and you click and you click stuff like that and this to delete and the rest you don't need to know. Now that now that's for sound. Now you can click view in with Mugen. And there's our character. As as you can as you can see he's he's he doesn't have a walking animation. That's because uh, I, we didn't make a walking animation. Now as you can see, see he's attacking. He's attacking. Now, it, it now if you want to make uh the the it, it attack more than like once, if you want to make it like in this one, you can make him do this. Add air, and then just keep on adding air. And just do that. Now I did this on purpose to show you. Now you go to two ten on the constants. You see states two ten. As you can see. That's insufficient. The first one I've been doing by myself. You, it, the computer generates it for you, but you, as you can see, it's insufficient. So you highlight it, you you cancel it, you kick punch. Now you click the two ten that you saw before, and the animation two ten. They have to be the same as you you can see here. So when you create your own one, it has to be the same. Hit animation number. You could make him hit there three. So and when when that animation three comes up, he will hit. You click insert. Now it's insert properly. Now it will hit wherever you want it to hit. Now if you click run Mugen, run in with Mugen. You have to just wait for it to load up. And there it is, bang bang. Obviously, you won't hit because you have to do the collision boxes, and that's basically it for tutorial part two. Part three is coming on shortly. Make sure you watch it. And this is yours, Jovanovic, and goodbye.